It is the orig original bachelor pad. Hugh Hefner's iconic Playboy Mansion is on the market for the first time in 45 years. And it's pretty cheap if you have a lazy $270 million. This 22,000 square foot gothic mansion could be yours. We might buy two. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll get a couple. Yeah. Me and Ida are going to go in together. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier, we spoke to Maurizio Yamansky, the founder and CEO of the agency and the man charged with selling this incredible property. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us, Maurizio. You're welcome. Thank you for having me with you. Now, why has Hugh Heffern decided to sell the property? Well, I think it's the right time to sell it at this time. Um, you know, it's uh, the real estate market is, is great. The, it's an iconic property and it's a great opportunity for them to sell it now. Maurizio it is, as you say, a very iconic property. <laughs> Um, sold by someone like yourself, so it's quite a listing, but you are also a bit of a star. I mean, I must confess, I'm going to have a fangirl moment, if that's all right, because I love you on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys, I know that a lot of people in Australia are watching, and it's so nice for all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching the show. Maurizio, getting back to the mansion, uh, firstly, does it come with all the furniture? And secondly, does it come with Hugh Hefner? <laughs> I love that question, and I get that often. So, first of all, it does come with all the furniture, um, and second of all, it does come with Hugh Hefner. Uh, that is not a rumor. That's 100% true. Uh, the mansion is absolutely gorgeous, as you can see in the photos. Um, it's just one of the most beautiful buildings that we have here in Los Angeles, and it's probably on the most important piece of land in Los Angeles. I mean, it's ground zero of Homeby Hills, uh, five picturesque acres. Um, that picture that you're seeing right now is of the library, which is absolutely gorgeous. And, and it's just a stunning uh, trophy estate. So how does it actually work? So whoever buys it has to have Hugh continue to live there? Does he do the lawns or what, um, what, what happens? So it's called the life, es <laughs> it's called the life estate. Um, and in essence, you know, he will live there until he passes. Um, you know, he will uh, not do the lawns, but he'll invite you to all of his parties. So basically you're buying the property to rent it back to Hugh. And do you think someone will pay $270 million for this? Well, you know, keep in mind that, you know, somebody has going to have the opportunity to own probably one of the most important properties in Los Angeles, okay? So mm -hmm. if you're a young guy, um, you know, and, and, and you can afford to wait, the house needs to be remodeled anyway. So you're probably going to expand it, remodel it, take some plans. It'll probably take you two or three years to make the plans. Um, and quite honestly, there's also some tax efficiencies by having him lease it back that we can take care of. But that's a conversation we need to have in private. Oh, oh <laughs> because your clients include people like Kim Kardashian, Kanye West. Do you think perhaps a couple like that might look at buying the property or are there some other people who are looking at it? Well, I think Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are super wealthy people. They've been extremely successful at what they do. But we're really looking for a billionaire. Um, you know, at $200 million, you need to, you know, you need to have a, a, a million, you know, a minimum of a billion dollars. <gasps> um, so I think, you know, we're looking for a real wealthy individual. How do you Somebody find that's them? a bachelor maybe. Somebody that wants to have the right well, you know, there's twenty eight hundred billionaires in the world. There's somebody that wants to have fun. There's somebody that wants to own the best property in Los Angeles. Um, you know, Los Angeles real estate's fantastic and uh, I'm sure we'll find the guy. Mm. We actually have a few interested parties on the on the property right now. Ooh, so who? you never Can know. You say the who? next conversation I can't tell you. Oh. So oh. God, it's a good good you ask. How about James Packer <laughs> and Mariah Carey? They're our favorite billionaires. They're great. I mean, they're out here and, you know, I think, um, you know, they just leased a house, you know, somewhere around here. They're living together, mm -hmm. but uh, they certainly could afford it. And uh, I love them. And what about a, a first time homeowner just trying to get into the market? <laughs> um... Well, the first time I was just trying to get in the market, if you have a check that's made out of rubber and you send it to me, I'll get you a day in the, uh, <laughs> oh, Maurice, at the mansion. So how long do you think the property may be on the market for? How many of these high-end properties move very quickly, do you find? They take a while to move and, you know, like anything, it's a one of a kind. So it could be gone in a month or it could take, you know, a year or a year and a half or two years to sell. I mean, it's, uh, it's an unknown number. And when us mere mortals try to buy a house, uh, obviously you're there on auction day jostling with everyone, you know, desperately hoping to get your bid in. You're going through the, uh, the house sort of, you know, bumping elbows with a whole bunch of other people. What's it like? When a billionaire is buying a house, what sort of service do they get? Uh, mm -hmm. Do they get a, a private appointment, you show them around, do you fly them there in a helicopter? How does it all work? 
Well, it can be anything. I mean, at the mansion, for example, it's a, you know it's a private tour. I mean, you arrive by car. We'll we'll send the car for you. Um, we'll, we'll you know we'll meet you there. It's a private guided tour. It's a very uh, it's a beautiful tour. I mean, there are people that have paid twenty, forty, sixty thousand dollars at auctions just to get you know at a charity auction just to get a tour of the mansion. What? Um, wow. So so it's a it's an amazing. Uh, we have to qualify you. Not everybody can get in. Uh, it's hard to get qualified. Mm. Uh, we're very stringent on it, um, but uh, it's a fun it's a fun opportunity. I mean, with billionaires, we've done a lot of different things. We've actually gone up uh, in a helicopter where we rent the helicopter and we look at the landscape from above, wow. uh, understand where it's located and where it's situated. Uh, we'll do anything to send you to sell a uh, high end real estate home. Right. And when you say qualify, what do, do you do a background check to make sure it's a proper billionaire, not just me saying, oh yeah, I'd like to see the Playboy Mansion. We do. We definitely get into the background check. Um, uh, if we can't Google you and we not we know we don't know your James Packer and Mariah Carey, uh, we're going to require financials from a bank statement, uh, your accountant, the business manager. Uh, the good thing is that most of the billionaires are now on uh, are, are now on the internet, so uh, they're pretty easy <laughs> to Google uh, them before. Prove, right? <laughs> Maurizio, can you please say hello to your wife, Kyle, for me? <laughs> I definitely will. From here, I'm heading home. She actually has a nice dinner set up for me. She told me to get home quick, and we're having massages tonight, so Ooh. I will definitely say hi for oh, you. Oh, please. Wow. Just say, I, I think she's amazing, and she has the shiniest <laughs> hair in the world. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Her hair is amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, Maurizio, and thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to seeing, visiting you down in Australia, down under. Yay. <laughs> And if you want any more information about the Playboy Mansion, because we'd all love to buy it, head to the agency <laughs> re.com. Her hair is amazing. Thank you. <laughs>